there! Good morning! Today, I will be your math teacher. I am Miss Lakisha Ann M. Lopez. So, we will be discussing the visibility rules of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Before we start, let me ask you, what is the visibility? Anyone? Okay. The visibility means that a number goes evenly into a number. It is also a quick way to determine if one number is a factor of a larger number. To be a factor, it divides into the number without a, a remainder. I will begin my discussion with the divisibility by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the 1's digit of the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, or even numbers. For example, is 568 divisible by 2? Yes, because the 1's digit, which is 8, is divisible by 2. Therefore, 568 is divisible by 2. Next, divisibility by 3. If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 3. For example, is 384 divisible by 3? Yes, because if you add these three numbers, like 3, plus 8 plus 4 is equal to 15. Then, 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Therefore, 384 is divisible by 3. Next, divisible by 4. If the number formed by the last two digits of the given number is divisible by 4, we say that the given number is divisible by 4. Example, is 164 divisible by 4? Yes, because if 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16, and 16 is divisible by 4. Therefore, 164 is divisible by 4. Divisibility by 5. A number is divisible by 5 if the 1's digit of the number is 0 or 5. For example, is 660 divisible by 5? Yes, because 660 ends with a 0. So, 660 is divisible by 5. Divisibility by 6. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 6. For example, is 408 divisible by 6? Yes, because the 1's digit is 8 and number 8 is divisible by 2. Is 408 divisible by 3? Yes, because if we add these 3 numbers, like 4 plus 0 plus 8, is equal to 12. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So therefore, 408 is divisible by 3. Divisibility by 8. If the number formed by the last 3 digits of the given number is divisible by 8, we say that the given number is divisible by 8. For example, is 53,888 divisible by 8? Yes, because if 888 divided by 8 is equal to 111, so 53,888 is divisible by 8. Divisibility by 9. If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9, we say that the given number is divisible by 9 or multiple. Example, is 45,675 divisible by 9? Yes, because if we add these 5 numbers, like
like 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 27. And 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. So therefore, 45,675 is divisible by 9. Divisibility by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the ones digit of the number is 0. Example, is 5,670 divisible by 10? Yes, because the ones digit is 0. So therefore, 5,670 is divisible by 10. Divisibility by 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sums of the alternate digit is 0 or multiples of 11. Example, is 3,729 divisible by 11? Yes, because if we add the digit of 7 plus 9 is equal to 16, then 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then 16 minus 5 is equal to 11. So therefore, 3729 is divisible by 11. Lastly, divisibility by 12. A number is divisible by 12 if, the, if it is divisible by both 3 and 2. Example, is 479,628 divisible by 12? Check if it, it is divisible by 3. 4 plus 7 plus 9 plus 6 plus 2 and plus 8 is equal to 36. 36 divided by 3 is equal to 11, 12. 400 79,628 is divisible by 3. Check if it is divisible by 4. 479,628. We need to look for the last two digits if it is divisible by 4. 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7. So therefore, it is divisible by 12. So let me solve a problem. Ivan is organizing 26,064 nails in two bins at the hardware store. He needs to put the same number of nails in each bin without any left over nails. How many bins could Ivan use for the nails? Divisible by 6. Check if 26,064 is divisible by 3. So we add 26064 is equal to 18. Then 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So it is divisible by 3. Check if 26,064 is divisible by 2. Since the ones digit is also 4, so it is divisible by 2. Divisible by 8. The rule is, if the number formed by the last 3 digits of the given number is divisible by 8, we say that the given number, which is 64, is divisible by 8. Divisible by 12. It is said earlier that it is divisible by 3. Check if 26,064 is divisible by 4. Get the last two digits, which is 64. Then, 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16. So, it is divisible by 4. So, the answer to the problem is divisible by by 6, 8, and 12. I also prepared another problem. It goes this way. Kylie is fixing 574 blocks. 
She needs to put the same number of blocks in each box without any leftover. How many boxes could Kylie use for the blocks? Is 574 divisible by 2? Yes, because the 1's digit, which is 4, is divisible by 2. So therefore, 574 is divisible by 2. That ends my discussion. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Bye!